Hi guys, it's your girl, the really sorry and I am back. I am back, y'all. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about how your toxic family love to see you in pain or just love to see some type of misfortune come to you. I mean, y'all, when I tell you, it's so evil, but it just brings them so much joy. And you can see it in their face, you know, when they find out something. Maybe something didn't work out for you or uh, maybe you just going through. Or um, I'll give you a real good example, y'all. I remember one time um, uh, I had surgery. I had surgery um, maybe like two months um, after I had gotten married. And this particular family member... I remember when she first found out I was getting married, she did her best to fake be happy for you. But I could I could see I could see it in her face and I felt it just in my spirit that she was so envious and jealous. And she had always been like that anyway. But the first thing came out of her mouth when she found out I was getting married was, oh, I would miss it for the world. I would miss it for the world. And y'all, let me tell you. This dog was nowhere to be found. (laughs) This dog was nowhere to be found on my wedding day. This dog did not even attend my wedding. Uh, Not that I cared, but um, I'm just using this as an example. But this same family member, y'all, this same family member, um, she found out that I was um, hospitalized, that I was being hospitalized um, because of a um, surgery that I had had like two months after I got married. And let me tell you, y'all, let me tell you, do you know, do you know who my first visitor was? My very first visitor outside of my immediate family, you know, people in my household was this dog, y'all. It was this dog. And let me tell you, though, God is so good, (laughs) y'all. She thought she was coming to see me in misery and agony and just so much pain. You know, they love to see you when you're down and at your worst. And when you in pain, oh, my goodness, it just tickles their fancy. And it just brings them so much joy and pleasure, y'all, to see for them to see you. And in pain, y'all, it's so sadistic. And that's how you know, you know, uh, our fight is not against flesh and blood because it's feeding something for someone to just thrive and and be happy to see someone in pain or at the lowest point. You know, it's feeding something. And what is feeding is feeding that demon, that demon inside of them that they need to get delivered from. And that's no joke. But y'all, let me tell you, let me tell you how God did this thing. And and, and God is so awesome, y'all. I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> so this dog came. She thought she was going to see me at my worst. Just, you know, in pain, suffering, looking like a, uh, uh, looking toe up. We'll just say that, looking toe up. She thought she was coming to get her rocks off to see me at my lowest point. But let me tell you what she found when she came to visit me in the hospital. And it just, it it repulsed her, y'all, when she saw this. Let me tell you what it was. <laughs> when she came to see me in the hospital, you know what she saw? She saw my husband at my bedside, caring for me, loving for me, taking care of me while I'm, I'm not able to take care or do for myself. She saw my husband sitting right there, never left my bedside, spent the night even with me as I was being cared for while I was um been hospitalized. And let me tell you, y'all, the look on her face, y'all, the look on this dog face was priceless. And I was like, oh, y'all, I was just like, thank you, Jesus, because that dog got exactly, she got exactly what she came for. She, she thought she was coming to get her rocks off, like I said, to see me at my lowest point. But God fixed it. 
where she she got exactly she got exactly what she was looking for. <laughs> and I was so happy about it. <laughs> but that just came to mind um, to use as a very good example of when these dogs love to see you in pain or some type of misery or suffering. You know, it's so demonic, y'all. That's all I can tell you. It's so demonic. But we really and truly have to pray for these dogs, y'all, because they seriously are demonically oppressed and influenced. That's that's what this is feeding the the need for them to see you in pain or suffering or some type of misfortune to come upon you. That's feeding something, y'all. It's and they thrive off of it. You know, and as long as these dogs are in agreement with darkness, they will never get delivered from it. You know, they won't get delivered because they are in total agreement of it. You know, out of jealousy, out of envy, uh, covetousness, you know, they're in agreement. They're walking hand in hand with the demonic spirit. And the sad, sad thing about it is uh, a lot of them are unaware. They're unaware that. They've been like this so long that they've allowed a demonic spirit to take up residence inside of them. And like I've told you guys in um, previous videos, I think that previous video I did was about the evil eye. You know, I've told you how you can literally see this demonic spirit in these people. You know, those of us who are able to see spiritually, you can literally see this demonic spirit in these people. And for those of you who whose spiritual eyes have not been opened, oh, honey, I pray for you today. I pray for you today that the Lord, our God, Lord Jesus, will open your eyes so you can see, so you can see the heart, the true intentions of Every person that approach you, that includes your toxic family members and anybody else, you know, because we're living in a day and time where it is, I'm telling you, you need your spiritual eyes to be open. You need to be able to see people's true intentions in their heart towards you. You really need to have the gift of discerning of spirits to see these things, y'all. I'm telling you, and it is so crucial right now. Y'all, this season that we in, this, oh my goodness, you need to be able to see. You need to be able to see these dogs coming. You need to be able to see them coming so you will know exactly what to do. You will know their plots. You will know their plan beforehand. I'm trying to tell you, the Lord will equip you. He will warn you ahead of time, okay? But um, I thank y'all for listening uh, to this video, and I will see you guys next time. I pray that y'all find these videos helpful. I really, really do. Talk to you guys next time. Bye.